Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision, and today I'm gonna show you how to create this number eight out of gradients. This kind of sharp gradient kind of approach, uh, I saw that it's becoming more and more popular on the internet, so I'm seeing more often. So I decided to show you how it's done. All right, first thing. Let's go to the fill. Click on the fill. This is the fill and click on the none. So it's going to disappear. We're going to work with the stroke. Click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top. And from here, we're going to go and select the ellipse tool or the rectangle tool is usually on the top. Going to go with ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt and create a circle. Now you can increase the stroke by going to the stroke and increase the weight. Now, you know, usually the default of the stroke is like this so it's a line stroke to inside but you need to align stroke to the center so this is the center of the stroke now we're going to go to gradient apply the gradient and as you can see this is the default result of the gradient and we need to change the uh, stroke profile of the gradient and basically this is it align gradient along stroke okay I'm gonna scale this down, press and hold shift plus alt on the, on, until they touch each other there, I mean, there you go. So from here, we're gonna select the direct selection tool, which is located right here, and select this curvature. Basically, this curvature is located between this anchor point and this anchor point. Don't touch those anchor points, just select this curvature and press on delete. We're gonna go to the pen tool, select the pen tool, and click on this anchor point, press and hold shift and go until they intersect here. Like you can see with this anchor point, they are going to intersect. I'm gonna pull it down where they intersect and click. And now I'm gonna create a new copy, press and hold alt, drag it, press and hold shift, rotate it. And I just gonna put it right where they intersect again. So this is again the intersection point. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna select both. Uh, these basically are not together, so we're gonna need to join these together. Uh, select the join tool and just do this. There you go. I'm gonna press and hold shift, rotate it once, and you know, we're gonna create some alternatives in there. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it like that, but I'm gonna create another alternative. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the gradient profile. I'm gonna pull this white, press and hold, click on this, press and hold alt, and again, you just copy pasted a new uh, color to the opposite side, so yeah this is how you achieve this you also can create actually you know what i'm gonna make this a light gray this is the light gray so this way it looks more you know it blends in a little bit more so yeah this was it thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end the recommended ones have a great day bye bye